Hello! As you already know, Inside Football is a different view of football world. And today is the debut of a new section in which we will weekly seek out for you the most significant figures of the world of football, so that your skill would only be improved on our channel. Before we start, we declared a battle for the most creative title for this section. You have a chance to go down in the history of the channel and become the author of a cool naming. We like the name who scored, but what are your ideas? And while you think, we will quickly intrigue you with the announcement. Today in the video, Liverpool lifted the curse lasting almost 30 years, Manchester United is in a shocking Christmas crisis, Mbappé continues to impress with his achievements, Messi conquered the outstanding mark again, but didn't become the top scorer of the year. In the end, we left the most delicious, the confrontation between Messi and Ronaldo in the finals. After watching this video, you will find out who performs better in decisive matches, Leo or CR7. And now we offer you to show your erudition. Who do you think is the most scoring player in the history of Italian Super Cup? Andriy Shevchenko, Carlos Tevez, Samuel Eto'o, Alessandro Del Piero or Paulo Dybala? Let us know your opinion in the comments. We'll give you 5 seconds. we we'll like your right answers. Well, let's get started. On Saturday, Liverpool won the Club World Cup for the first time in its history. In the final, Klopp's words defeated Flamengo with a minimum score of 1-0, thanks to Roberto Firmino. Thus, the Reds finally lifted the Brazilian curse in the finals of the Club World Cup, which was previously called the Intercontinental Cup. In 1981, Liverpool lost to Flamengo 0-3. In 2005, they lost to San Paulo 0-1. Well, Liverpool will no longer be afraid of clubs from the country of ball magicians, and this is another psychological victory of Jurgen Klopp. The Reds end the calendar year on a positive note. Salah, Firmino, Mane, Van Dijk, Alisson and others won the Champions League, UEFA Super Cup and Club World Cup. Just a crazy year for the followers of Steven Gerrard. But the last English club to win the Club World Cup before Liverpool, Manchester United, is going through the present times. The Devils are now in 8th place in the Premier League standings. But how do you like the following fact? Manchester turned out to be out of top 4 at Christmas for the fourth time in the last 5 seasons. For comparison, in the first 23 seasons from the start of Premier League, the Devils did not fall into the top 4 for this period of time only 3 times. Oh, inside football recalls with nostalgy battles of Manchester United and Arsenal at the beginning of this century. Such a great match as was then. Now it is completely different thing. Arsenal is running a fever. The Gunners were in the bottom half of the table for Catholic Christmas for the first time after the 83-84 season, when they were 12th. Now the team is in 11th place. We wish Michael Arteta to reload the Londoners' guns. On December 20th, Kylian Mbappé turned 21 years old. Inside football, wholeheartedly congratulates amazing talent. By the way, you can join the congratulations too. Just put the like to video and Kylian will be happy and give you a smile like this. Paris Saint-Germain and the France national team strikers having the global attention. Mbappé is starlessly scoring and had already done plenty of goals. Comparison of Kylian's success with world tops at the time of their 21st birthday seems interesting to us. So, Ronaldo at the time has done 27 goals, Messi 48, Neymar 72, Aguero 75 and Mbappé 103. So, Kylian is ahead of schedule of Ronaldo and Messi. What do you think? Can Mbappé outperform Ronaldo and Leo in goals in the end of career? Vote at the card! And while Mbappé timidly only thinks about the heights of Ronaldo and Messi, the Argentinian again surprised the football community, having scored a goal in the last match of Barcelona against Alaves. Leo killed his 50th goal in the calendar year. It is worth noting that goals for the club and the national team were taken into account in all tournaments. The fact of reaching such a mark is not surprising. In the case of Leo Messi, this is more likely a usual thing. This is more about Barca's captain stability. Just imagine, over the past 10 years, Lionel has reached this shocking number 9 times. 
Well, what to say? The others of the inside football didn't even dream of such a thing even at the youth level. And here are such results in the matches on the highest level. But there was one more madman who managed to surpass Leo. This is Robert Lewandowski, who completed the 2019th year in the status of the most scoring footballer. The Pole has done 54 goals and matches for Bavaria and the Polish national team. His beautiful wife is definitely satisfied. And finally, the most delicious. Cristiano Ronaldo lost the Italian Super Cup. All of his haters are surely happy. Until that moment, the Portuguese won 12 finals in a row. The last time he lost in the decisive match for the trophy is back in 2013. By the way, remember who was the one to win Real Madrid? We will help you. Atletico Madrid. This time Lazio famously dealt with Juventus, a 3-1 victory. And what started here? The next war of fans of Messi and Ronaldo has begun. When some are rejoicing and others are presenting counter-arguments. How do you like this fact? Cristiano has lost only one final in 8 years. But Leo has lost 8 finals. But reaching the finals is in any case still a great achievement. Based on these internet battles, we found it pretty interesting to compare the statistics of two football giants in the finals. So, who performed brighter? Today we took into account only the main indicators – goals and assists. Cristiano Ronaldo during his career played in 29 finals. He has done 19 goals and 2 assists. Leo Messi played 34 finals. His results are more impressive – 29 goals and 14 assists. Well, there's nothing to be done. Lionel triumphs on this confrontation. Ronaldo's fans, don't be upset. Friends, we wish each of you to be like Arturo Vidal. He always hits the target. This season, the Chilean midfielder hit 5 shots on target in La Liga matches and all of them turned out to be scoring. Inside Football is a unique project with unique sections and stories that you will not find on any other channel of English-speaking YouTube. Each subscriber strengthens our belief that such content is needed and useful. Subscribe because where else you'll spend time with the joy and become smarter. Inside Football – we watch football from a different angle. We wish you all the best luck. Bye-bye!